You always giving up game. Why you don't get no game on Black Lives Matter? Because I don't get to that shit, nigga. All lives matter, nigga. I don't give a fuck if you white, black, blue, purple, brown, tangerine. Nigga, all lives matter. Y'all want a nigga to go out there head first, tell these motherfucking white people black lives matter. But my motherfucking black life didn't matter to the nigga that tried to execute me. To the nigga that shot me in my motherfucking wrist, stomach, and my foot. The nigga that tried to have my mama singing it so hard to say goodbye. My black life didn't matter to that nigga. All the niggas I knew been shot by niggas. And what about my motherfucking, my nieces and nephews who half black and half white? Only 50% of their lives matter, nigga. And I understand the whole black lives movement. We've been oppressed. We've been done wrong. Nigga, we do wrong to each other, nigga. We do more fuck. Truly, I'm the one and only. I go by the name of Mr. Teleferro. Please make sure you're following your boy on Instagram at Mr. Teleferro. We just heard Gilly the Kid go off. I'm going to get into that in a second. Real quick, though, I want to shout out this black owned business that I'm supporting today. This King shirt. We are all kings and queens. I love the King shirt, bro. I cannot get over this King shirt. I love it, love it, love it. And I got my Black Lives Matter hat on. We better get into that more in a second. Two, all by Esquire Embroidery Studios. If you want me to rock some of your clothing, you want to hit me up on Instagram and get the details to my P.O. box ASAP. But if you want to know more details about Esquire Embroidery Studios, you want to head over to supportisgolden.com. And also, you want to check out their Instagram. All those details will be in the description below. Check it out. And I think if you use the code, it's Mr. Teleferro. Don't quote me on this. I think you get a discount. Don't quote me on that. But... I do want to get into Black Lives Matter, right? Like my hat say from Esquire and Brodery Studios. Look, man, Gilly the Kid says some ish, all right? Now, I want to start by saying I don't 100% agree with Gilly the Kid, but I can't act like I 100% disagree with Gilly the Kid. Gilly the Kid essentially was like, yo, I only see the Black Lives Matter movement around with police brutality. He's like, yo, the person who shot me was black. Most of the people he know, he said all the people he know actually, were shot by their own skin complexion. Before I get into what I agree with Gilly the Kid on, I want to say I disagree with him there. Here, so a big part of the Black Lives Matter movement, Gilly, is because of the system that keeps us down. I want to throw that out there. There is a system, again, systematic racism that makes... Someone hate your skin enough to want to shoot you, bruh. That's about people hating that you got a couple more crumbs than them for the most part. Or maybe you was able to get the girl that he wanted and all that. So I'm just saying the reason why we're shooting at each other because most of us don't got much. We're poor. We live in terrible conditions. So Gilly, I would just offer you, you know, to do a little bit of research. Yes, a black man may be shot at you, but it's because of the white man system that black man shot at you in the grand scheme of things. I'm not giving any black person an excuse for shooting at their black brother or sister. I would never do it on offense, only defense. Now, you come my way on that BS and try to take me away from my family, it's me or you, and it ain't going to be me. Be clear about that. But I do have to acknowledge that we don't like each other. I mean, go back to the basic principles of racism. It literally, you put your brother against him. You make one black person feel like they got a little more than the next. You put the one black slave in the house while everybody else stands outside and now the, the slaves that are not inside of the house they hate that one black slave that's able to sit on the floor in the crib sleep on the floor in the crib it's literally basic principles of slavery still in effect in 2020 many years later all right you pit your brother and sister against them they go on there and flex on social media and the white corporate guy he goes and flex on social media you don't want to take from that white corporate guy you want to kill your black brother and sister all right so, Gilly, there is a system in place that the Black Lives Matter movement represents they're trying to fight against. Now, I do want to say this to the Black Lives Matter movement. Now, this is the part of the video where I'm going to shock a lot of people and actually agree with Gilly the Kid. Yo, I have been shouting for the last couple years, yo, Black Lives Matter movement. I got to have somebody from the BLM movement on my platform. I got to have somebody from Black Lives Matter on my platform because... We only see y'all around when it's time to talk a police killing a black man or woman. Where are y'all 
yet in our hoods around America, our people are asking for y'all. Because it comes across like y'all only show up when it's time, when the media is around. Which is when a police officer kills a black man or woman. That's how it looks to me. I see many people donating millions of dollars to this movement. And I'm not mad at that. But are we not allocating some of this money to other things past the Kaepernick Know Your Rights campaign? Which is great, by the way. But I'm saying, where is this money going? We need people from the Black Lives Matter movement telling us where is our money going? What, what, like, what are y'all doing with the money that, that's being donated to y'all? A lot of people have been donating money since the killing of George Floyd to this movement. Where are y'all at in our hoods? Over in Atlanta over the weekend, an eight-year-old little girl just got shot and killed, bruh. Be clear. I mourn when George Floyd gets killed. I mourn when Rashard Brooks gets killed. Makes me wanna, it, it makes me want to do very bad things. Hit walls. I'm, I'm pissed, damn it. But I'm also pissed when a young eight-year-old queen, princess, is killed for nothing. When I see that 14 people were shot in Atlanta, Georgia, for nothing. Chicago had one of the deadliest Memorial Day weekend. Bruh, it is killings going on everywhere. And I don't mourn less because somebody of my own skin complexion did it. How are you mourning less just because a black man or woman killed the eight-year-older? Where are y'all at? I haven't seen a statement about that. So I get Gilly's point. How come y'all not around when what's going on in our hunt? Is it too much for y'all? Like, just pick a place and start. Damn. Start in Chicago. Start in Detroit. Hell, take it to my hometown of Memphis. Take it to somewhere in Watson, California. Start somewhere. We need y'all presence when stuff happens between black on black. We need it more because the numbers don't even add up. Yes, but police brutality can happen to any black person. Be clear about that. But what's happening in our hoods day in, day out, what I believe a good portion of our energy needs to go to is killings within our community. See, I don't believe if police officers don't kill another black man, I don't believe that solves our systematic racism problem. I think we're multifaceted, and I think we can go after two issues at one time. All right? We are not monolithic black people. We can attack police brutality against black people while we're attacking black on black crimes in our communities. Now the black on black crime in our community one gets iffy because we know we're talking about a, a money game right here, but I damn sure think we have enough resources to start. Some people are. I wanna see Black Lives Matter. Why are you guys not giving statements after a deadly July 4th weekend in which a lot of black people got killed? Where are y'all statements at? Where y'all, like where are y'all at? How come a news crew, and I'm gonna call the media out too. Self-included. I believe, like I said earlier, I believe Black Lives Matter, the movement, would be around if they saw more media opportunities were around when a black man kills another black man, a black woman kills another black woman, or a black woman kills a black man, or a black man kills a black woman. Or hell, a black man kills a young lady, a young man. They get caught up in a gang shooting or whatever it is. I believe if more cameras were present, more media attention was present, I got to believe history would tell me more Black Lives Matter. I'm talking about real representation from the movement, like actually people who are on staff with the movement. I think they would show up more. I am asking a question and damn it, I'm open to answers. Because we're focused on police brutality, have we lost focus? Have we become desensitized to killings in our own communities? I am asking that question. Please, anybody in my comment box below, have at it. Are we too desensitized to black-on-black -black crimes? And I'm talking about the movement, and I'm talking about people with, with microphones in their hand. Because I'm telling you this. The people I talk to behind the scenes that don't have a platform like me, we talk about this shit. We don't like police brutality, and we don't like black-on-black like -black crime. We understand that the black on black crime issue is multifaceted, very detailed, and it's going to take a lot of time to fix because we're talking about hatred of self. 
But that don't mean we just want to sit around and put all our energy and efforts into police brutality while our brothers and sisters kill each other in the hood over bullshit. So I'm not with this. I'm with Gilly in that regard. I'm not with going all in on police brutality if I got to leave my brother and sister behind in the hood. I'm not with this shit. I'm out. Check me out. I'm not with it. You damn right I want my black life to matter. I wanted it to matter to that white cop. I wanted it to matter to that white corporate executive. And I for damn sure wanted it to matter to my black brother and sister. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this one in the comment box below. Again, the question is, have we become too desensitive? I said desensitive. Have we become too desensitized to black-on-black -black crimes? I'm out.